what is the benefits owning a property versus renting a property. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor, EXP Realty. Today, I'm gonna explain to you what is the benefits of owning a property versus renting a property, alright? Because some people doesn't know what's the benefits of owning versus renting. So if you are this person, make sure to watch this video from this start till the end because I'm gonna give you my best knowledge which is owning a property good for you or renting a property is benefits for you. But before I start this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And the most important thing you know that smash that like button for me and share this video to all family and friends especially for those people who doesn't know if they should rent for now or they should buy a property right now all right so without further ado let's jump into it so number one i will explain here is like what's the benefit of owning a property because for me i always want to own a property in fact i have a property not here in united states but in united kingdom i'm a homeowner okay i used to rent a property with my parents however after we renting like three four or five years whatever we paid on the rent of five years that's out of your pocket you're not gonna get that however after five years we decided to buy a property back in the united kingdom so what happened was when we bought this property from the price of 185 thousand that's what the price when we bought the property or at my first between myself and also my father property we shared it together on the ownership of the property we bought it from 185,000 and right now we check the property where we live at currently right now the property right now is doubled it's selling from between 350,000 to 400,000 so we doubled our money within certain amount of years in eight years living in that property all right so imagine that if we keep renting renting and renting and then after let's say eight years the property we're just renting out the money that we put on that property is all gone all right so that's the number one tip if you are owning a property versus renting a property so you will have a equity and also the property value will always go up some people think like not everything the property value is going up yes around 2008 the property value was go down because of what happened in the economy between here in the united states and its effect all over the world so what happened was when the 2008 when the economy like go down or go south what happened is like people doesn't have a job people have foreclosure in their property they couldn't pay their mortgage so what happened was all the prices or all the property here in the united states they went all like foreclosure not every single property went foreclosure however the economy affects it so it's a lot of foreclosure so the property value of that particular year went down right but it doesn't have to go down significantly what happened was after that 2008 the property value is always go up since then what happened before so but that's the downside of owning a property but for my personal experience for my personal home ownership when the properties go down you don't have to sell it or you can just rent it out and then you know get the rent from the property and then wait for it until like the property value go back up up again and then once you're ready to sell it you will get your money back whatever you put on the property and then you will also get some equity on your property and also some money for yourself if you want to keep the money from your mortgage or you can use that money to get a new property or a, like a new construction property or your, your next property and that's a good stuff when you are a homeowner rather than like a renting a property right so second tip that i'm gonna tell you is like tax benefit so if you're owning a property you will have a tax benefit before i start this conversation i just want to let you know that i am not tax person or a lawyer i am a real estate agent here in central Florida. Florida. so this video particularly is only for educational purposes only are we good in that one so let's go so when we are owning a property you can deduct some taxes on your taxes when you apply for end of the year on taxes like for example if we are paying some interest rate on our mortgage we can deduct those on your taxes at the end of the year all you need to do is just talk to your CPA or 
any accountant that you have and tell them your circumstances and they will do that for you okay it's a huge tax benefit especially if you have like a family with kids let's say you have two kids you can have tax deduction of those as well including your where you're living at like the property that you are currently living but i just wanted to let you know or to make sure that you consult with your tax benefits before doing anything else as i said earlier i'm not a tax advisor or tax person all right so you remember that one so lastly but not the least is you can apply for a homestead here in florida once you are a homeowner so what is a homestead so homestead is like a tax relief where you can apply once you have become a homeowner so instead of paying let's say for example you are currently living in your property and your property tax is between thousand or two thousand a year now let's say two thousand a year all right so once you apply for a homestead they could give you a tax relief for between 500 to a thousand dollars a year so instead of paying two thousand you are probably paying half of that the most let's say instead of two thousand you will save like a thousand dollars that's the most that you can save for property taxes as long as you live in the property and this is your main resident property i hope that makes sense all right so that's another benefit of owning property here in florida so those are my three benefits of owning than renting so let's go to renting don't worry i don't forget you for all those people who loves renting this is the benefits for you when you are renting a property so when you are renting a property you don't have to worry about the maintenance yes that's a good thing especially if you're living in the apartment area or in the condominium area where all these people who's paying rent for their landlords not just a private landlord but like a commercial condominium or residential uh, apartment area you don't have to worry about the maintenance which is number one good for if you are a renter however if you are renting a property like a private landlord some people experience like once they have some problem in the property they call the landlord and the landlord doesn't care what will happen is or what will end in is like the tenant who's leaving the property end up fixing their cell because the landlord is so slow fixed property if that's you well i'm sorry but that's i wouldn't say that is a advantage of renting a property but that could be a, a disadvantage of renting a property okay so let's go to my second one is if you are renting a property right now you are probably know how much is your spending money so let's say you know how much you will have for your monthly expenses and also when you are renting a property you don't have to worry about the much down payment compared to owning a property when you are owning a property or when you are buying a property you need to have like a closing cost closing costs will cost you from between 10,000 30,000 or more however on renting they only ask you for between one month rent or two months rent that's the most plus the month that you are renting so let's say if you are renting for the property for 2500 so two months of that one will be 5000 so you only need to provide five thousand dollars for your move in plus the month that you are moving in so let's say about seven thousand five hundred for your down payment and the month that you are moving in so that's the month money that you need to provide when you are looking for a rentals okay so which is pretty good compared to the ten thousand to 20,000 or 30,000 closing costs however if you are buying a property you can always ask a closing cost to the seller or to the builder who's building your property and at the same time you can ask for upgrades if you want to do upgrades in your property like if you are building a property however when you are moving for a rental the rental property is there you cannot change in your property however if you ask your landlord and the landlord say you can do it that's a good thing but most of the landlord if you're living in the apartment area or like a commercial area they don't accept any changes or any upgrades in your apartment because that's the standard that they are following within the commercial or the apartment area all right so i wouldn't say that's the advantage or i wouldn't say that's even the disadvantage of the property however that's up to you if you are taking that as advantage or disadvantage so last thing i would say if you are renting a property i wouldn't say this is an advantage Yeah. <laughs> 
but this is a disadvantage what i said earlier when you are renting a property you will paying like not much money which is good but however after you renting in 12 months lease or more after your 12 months lease you wouldn't get anything equity on your property all right so let's say you are paying 2500 a month so let's say you are paying 2500 two times that in 12 in 12 month lease and you're getting 30000 all right that 30000 is just gone straight away because that is your rent payment which you just paid the landlord for their mortgage and then the landlord would what they're doing is sitting back and just waiting for your rent to pay so that you are paying their mortgage so that's 30,000 is out of your pocket anymore and you won't get that back however if you are a homeowner whatever you paid in your mortgage when you are planning to sell your property when you've been in the property let's say in about five or ten years or more the property value that you just paid probably let's say 300,000 and uh, in five years time or ten years time it, it will probably 400 500 or even 600,000 all right and those money that you just paid in your mortgage will go back to you once you sold your property in a good shape by the way so that's the video for today i hope this video is helpful and if you are in defense of buying a property or renting a property what would you do comment down below and also once you stay in this video until this end comment down below homeowners i want to see how many people who want to own a property rather than renting because as i said earlier owning a property is better long run compared to renting which is good for a short term or a short run short term short run short term all right so i hope this video is helpful and i'll see you on my next video thank you for watching again peace what is going on guys this is rj bautista your local incredible realtor what what i'm gonna say uh I just got blank. Oh yes, renting versus owning. <laughs> Let's do it again part two.